Hi everyone, it is Fitz with your daily delivery. Hope you're doing well. I am quite good. We're having a follow-up DD to yesterday's DD because I now have more information to clarify yesterday's DD, so I'm going to get it right and offer you some news that apparently Colorado fans don't know, which I find interesting. First, a reminder, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the thumbs up. Leave those comments. Thank you so very much for your ongoing support. So yesterday's DD dealt with an exchange or exchanges. Colorado head coach Deion Sanders, a.k.a. Coach Prime, had with two different reporters. Now, one of them was Sean Keeler. I've known Sean for years. We're old newspaper farts, and he's still a newspaper old fart. And... As predicted, Dion got his negative story. That's right. Sean went to the press conference trying to ask football questions, was refused those answers, so he wrote about the spectacle that Dion Sanders made at the press conference. That is a coach-fulfilling prophecy. I bet you this guy is going to write bad stuff, and then you create the bad stuff to give him something to write about. It's pretty common. You know, when you push back on media, uh, so yeah, some of them will back down. There's no doubt. You can intimidate people, but most guys, particularly guys like from Sean's generation and mine, are going to push back. And he did push back. Now, I need to make a clarification. The follow-up question, wishing Coach Prime a birthday wish, was not from a member of the media. It was from one of his sons on the team. I think it was Shadur. I'm not sure. Someone told me it was Shadur. And that's that's interesting that, you know... His son's interrupting a press conference. And one Colorado fan said they were up next at the press conference. No, they weren't. Most Colorado fans, I don't think, know that the Sanders brothers are off limits to the media. Unless you pay. You have to pay them NIL money to have an interview. So the starting quarterback, and we all probably could agree that doing interviews is a role of the starting quarterback. It's called leadership. But you can't talk to the starting quarterback unless you pay him. It's just a weird culture. And it's not that the culture is wrong. I think it's just spinning out of control. I, I think there's too much almost like permissive parenting going on, literally and figuratively, with those who aren't his children. But that's Colorado's issue. Colorado has scored big with Coach Prime. The Big 12 is benefiting from Deion Sanders being a coach in the conference. And it's obvious to see why so many people just kind of cling to no matter what this coach does, they're going to love it because it does bring the program attention. But it's always good attention. And do you have a right to complain about bad attention when you almost go out to seek it? I'm not sure. Now, Coach Jerome Tang has an interesting philosophy. There are a lot of ways to get to the number four. And it's pretty cool when you stop and think of it. You can add two twos, you can add a three to a one, a one to a three, you can get two times two, or four plus zero. There are many ways to get to four, and that's just like coaching. There's different ways to get where you need to go. But as far as I can tell, this process is two plus 93 equals four. It's not working, it's very strange, and, and I think it'll end after this season. I do. I just don't think this will go on. And not because Colorado wants him gone. They are, they, the wins and losses are one thing, but they're raking in so much cash right now off of Deion Sanders' presence. They'll put up with it. And I kind of understand that. But I think Deion will walk away when he realizes he can't get his way every day fighting the media. In fact, you'll never get your way if you're fighting the media. You're eventually going to come out looking battered and bruised. And you might think it makes us and the media look bad, but we're used to it. We're more than willing to be the bad guy if the job calls on it. Sean stood his ground, and Sean wrote the story that Deion Sanders wanted, apparently, out of Friday's press conference.